Bring, how is your, your screen there? I see things. Okay. And your... Yeah, there it is. Good. Excellent. Yeah, I had to resize that, doing it live. Even though I haven't introed yet, which I'm going to do now. Hello there, everybody. 6F Cyrus here, welcoming you back to the Caffeine co commentaries <laughs> of Shadow Hearts with the one, the only, Blind Man's World. And as always, you're so much more enthusiastic than I am, but that's okay. I am the one and only, I believe so, because that username was not used by anybody else, so I got it, so screw you all. But yes, we're back. I have coffee. I'm a little tired, but I'm getting better with this caffeine. It's so helpful, and now we're... Uh, what were we doing? We're killing something, probably. Uh, we're heading down an alleyway. Um... <laughs> As Epic Alice, quest. that's not a great idea. With her butt in the air. Oh, it's not in the air. Whoa, it's on the ground. What the heck? Ooh, stuff. Stuff and things. Alchemist's water. Mm. Not really what I wanted, but uh, I realized we were almost fully around the um, Ring of Fate circle. Uh, it's probably code for a jar of pee. It's Alchemist pee. But they've caught water just to be a little more PC. Yeah. Ooh, I so. I hit that yellow. Oh, so close. Mm -hmm. just happened to have a few lottery tickets from London. Um, mm. So I had a few topics I wanted to talk about today. I've been following some things. One of them is, and you probably won't like this topic, but I'm going to push it anyway because... I like pushing topics that people don't want to talk about. <laughs> You'd be surprised. I pretty much talk about anything. Uh, it's a political matter. Um, oh, no! What are people um, arguing about now, rather than launching rockets and exploring space? <laughs> a Supreme Court Justice has recently died. Uh, Antonin Scalia, I believe his name is? Yeah, I heard something about that on Facebook. Somebody was saying that they're going to appoint a new justice, which, okay. They're not, great. because they're the Republicans not. are playing opposition obstructionist party again. And the thing is, really, when Reagan, Imagine that. When Reagan was in office, uh, Republicans, like God of politics, <laughs> um, mm -hmm. he approved, like a Democratic uh, judge got approved. Um, mm hmm Everybody, like, got along about it. And I don't understand why there's such an oppositionist thing going on with the Republicans here. And the Democrats, apparently. Because no opposition has just one side. Well, that's... They're, they're fighting, yes. But this, <laughs> this is a thing that there should be no fight about. Like, you want to shut down the most important arm of our government because you can't get along in one of the other ones? That's... Childish. Yeah. No. Well, I'm thinking, I mean, from what I've been seeing on Facebook, uh, they didn't get along before this happened. No, they didn't. So actually it doesn't change anything. The thing that really bothers me is they haven't gotten along since the Reagan years. Like, it's been the Republicans saying true. no everything to everything the Democrats say. And the Democrats making fun of the Republicans and, you know, just stuff like that. I, I don't understand... Why we went from working politics to where we can't even keep our government running. That's true. And I'm not sure what's going on other than people are just, I don't know, there's the, the if you look at some of the college campuses even now, the, the um, slant towards being offended at every little mm -hmm. thing and the political correctness of everything, it's... You know, because I, I think being sensitive to other people's needs and beliefs and things is really important. And at the same time, if you're offended at everything and then want to want to make it almost like a crime mm -hmm. to be offended by somebody else's opinion, uh, it's going to screw you over. And it seems like that's that mentality is working its way through the entire society, even up to the upper levels of government. They want it to be like that, though. Uh, politics has become a stage where people like Donald Trump can walk in and entertain people. And while we're being <laughs> yeah. entertained yeah. by Donald Trump, these parties are controlling our lives in ways that they have no right to. That's true. It's Very really true. frustrating because it's, it's a simple system. Like, I... 
it really frustrates me. <laughs> I hear you. Because well, there's actually a. <laughs> and it's kind of weird. There's a. I, and I don't know if it's actually true or not, but on Facebook I saw that there was an island in Canada that will accept American refugees if uh, Donald Trump wins the election or something like that. Oh. I think it might have been a joke, but I, I'm not so sure. <laughs> I, I might go apply. Um, yeah. But the thing is, go live with a world gamer. Yeah. I want to uh, talk to people about politics because we live in a country where this system has huge effects on our daily lives, and nobody oh, yeah. wants to talk about it because they're scared. Yeah. Well, I think you're right. That's one of the main things, especially if you get into gender politics or those kinds of issues, or mm. the gay rights issues, those kinds of things. A lot of people. Um, to talk about it is if you have even a slightly opposing opinion than the other person in your room, you get mm -hmm. called a bigot or a hater or a conservative or a, all, all these words we throw liberal. out, label, a liberal, yeah. And and rather than just really talking through the issues and having mm -hmm. intelligent discussion, kind of like you're talking about, it, it's just if, if most people's views that I know, at least because I surround myself with intelligent people, mm -hmm. are, can be modified by intelligent discussion. And there's there's give and there's take. Mm -hmm. There's not this like, I am in my view, I will not budge in any way, shape, or form. Um, yeah. right. So there's nice intelligent intellectual discussion about these things. But that's that's really, if you if you notice the, the content of our media and our internet, it doesn't seem to be what we want to do, mm -hmm. which is a shame. It's really frustrating because I think we should take each issue as its own thing. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't be an argument of who's right. It should be an argument of what's the best solution to the problem at hand, period. Right. For right. the people, not for the, the government, n not for big corporations, but for the people who make this country work. Right, right. Uh, and I think you're right on that. It's... It's and I, it probably will get increasingly frustrating until we fall flat on our face using this current system of let's be offended at everything, let's be right or wrong, mm -hmm. um, rather than being comfortable in that tension between right and wrong, the compromise area where there's usually you know somebody's when you compromise somebody lo both parties lose something, mm -hmm. both parties gain something. So there's a tension there, and you have to be comfortable with that. But most people aren't comfortable with tension or change. No. You know, I, I know this firsthand because I'm a counselor, and people hate change. I, I try to help you know them change, and they're like, "Oh no, I don't want to change." And then they get used to the change process, and then they move forward. So I think we're in that that part of I'm not comfortable with change process. And then maybe 20 years from now, hopefully not that long. We'll, we'll get to that place of, okay, we're comfortable in this place of change and, mm. and, and multiculturalism and multigenderism, and we'll just be able to move forward together and build starships and have Star Trek. Oh, speaking of, you've just given me the perfect segue into my next topic. I try. And I think you'll appreciate this one. I don't know if you've been following this yourself, but um, there's this wonderful thing that's going on. It's called... The discovery of gravitational waves. Uh, oh yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. What do you? What did you hear about it? It's been proven twice over now, just yep. in the last couple of weeks, that Einstein's general theory of relativity is more than we thought it was. Like parts mm -hmm. that we couldn't verify before are becoming verified, and yep. I think it's amazing because now that we know they're there, mm -hmm. we can copy gravitational waves. And we can ride on those gravitational waves through space because yep. we need gravity. So there you go. It's right there. The <laughs> gravity are all lined up. Someone just has to do the science. I'm tempted, but... Uh... Or at least get on somebody's ass to start doing it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Poke them enough time, maybe they'll start thinking of things. Uh, yeah, gravity gravity um, waves, dang, that was... I, I know it was proven once, but the, the, the twice over... I didn't hear about, but that's um, awesome. Um, but yeah, I mean... They if... only just did that. Like, it, it was uh, t today or yesterday that I saw the uh, second um, confirmation, and I was like, blown away. I was like, wow. <laughs> well, you figure if our next step is the Mars mission. I mean, we sent several probes that direction, and that's, that's really our next step mm -hmm. um, with... Uh, our, our next whatever with the ship that we build 
um, it's going to be for a Mars mission, because that's, I mean, we did the moon. They were thinking of returning to the moon at some point. Actually, um, I have some news for you. I think we might have talked about it before, but um, there are competing, uh, like China's trying to get back to the moon with the space station. Um, yep. And Russia joined that battle. Recently, mm -hmm. I saw that in the news. So people are, we're looking beyond the moon, but others are like, give us the moon. We're yeah. Just, we're, America is going to let it go, and I don't know if I agree with that. Yeah, it'll be interesting. I mean, the moon's a perfect staging ground for you know, interplanetary. Yeah, it's that next step out. So if you can get any kind of base system up there, refueling mm -hmm. system, that'd be great. I mean, that's... And, you know, and it's a hop, skip, and a jump from here to to the moon and stuff. But mm -hmm. still, it's better th to travel from the moon to Mars than Earth then to Mars. Away from Earth's atmosphere. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot easier to get off of the moon's sphere of influence than it is mm -hmm. like Earth. Um, you use a lot less delta v, as they say in Kerbal Space Program, or change in velocity to get from moon's pitiful gravity gravitational force mm -hmm. to earth's insanely large holy crap got gravity here um sphere of influence so holy crap the gravity is keeping me on the ground yeah <laughs> yeah it's we're on the me. moon yeah. you jump too high depressed. you might not come back down <laughs> exactly exactly so that would be cool i mean i would love to see you know at least by the time my daughter's like in her 20s um mm -hmm. to have some sort of progress in that direction they may not have a you know it's like the gut like we we're talking the government moves slow can't agree on anything mm -hmm. um so it may be more than 20 years before we even have that progress but actually keep our um it's not spacex who's that other guy that richard branson's company i believe is unveiling a new passenger spaceship today oh uh, yeah which one was it called because I, I heard a little bit about that you know, I don't know. I just saw the article before you, we got yeah. on call, and I thought, well, that's that's interesting to mention because it's fascinating that yeah. um, leaps and yeah, bounds are being made in private space exploration. Yeah, I mean, it's the private space companies that are making the Dream, um, Dream Finder, and Dream Catcher programs. No, it's Dream Finder for the um, interplanetary space state or the international space station resupply vehicles, which are confirmed by NASA and will be made in the next few years here. So, um, And that's all privatized companies doing some good work since the government refuses to um, fund NASA. They completely defunded it after the space shuttle program. Well, the, so, the thing is, is th I think the government is afraid of paying for failure. They have that right to be afraid of something like that. But my disagreement with that is we didn't just get to go to the moon. Things went wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, and the space shuttle, uh, had NASA been able to have control over its design and usage, it would have worked just fine. But the government once again went, well, we want a vehicle to do this, that, and the other thing. And they got their hands in the, in the, in the um, you know, design stuff. And mm -hmm. for lack of a better word, they fucked it up. Um, that's the best word for that particular situation because oh, they really did. I agree. They made it an unusable vehicle and, and just an impossible um, amount of expectations on that program and that vehicle that nothing could have oh, um, succeeded in. Um, so then we had, you know, the Challenger disaster, which I was actually a kid watching that launch when it exploded. And then we had, oh. um, I think it was Discovery mm -hmm. was another one that went, went out. So, yeah, it's... It's a shame because that was a really cool program that, I mean, they had a lot of plans to do not only the International Space Station, but then the next thing was going to be the moon base, and we would have already had it. Right. Had they not, you know, defunded it. Now, here's a question for you. Do you feel like the government set it up to fail on purpose? I don't know if they did that. I mean, what their, their expectations kind of... I don't know if it was intentional or not, mm -hmm. but it did make it more likely that the shuttle program would fail. Um, and maybe they don't want to pay for it. I mean, there's not a lot of dreamers in um, our country, as you probably can tell by what we concentrate on in our country. It's mm -hmm. you know, sex, violence, and just a bunch of nonsense. Drugs. Instead of you know, drugs, yeah. Instead of you know, getting along, talking with each other, and 
just enjoying life. Mm-hmm. So it's it's screwy. I don't know why people do that. Maybe I'm just too much of an optimist and think people are supposed to be better than they are. I, I've always thought this, but like news stations like Fox Media, it's a form of control. They're trying to get people to think a certain way and do things yeah. a very specific way. And it's kind of strange. It's kind of frustrating. Why do they need control of people so bad? Yeah. Controlling the narrative, as they say. Oh, yeah. That's really what they're doing. Is they design it and they construct it. And whether or not it's true, it doesn't matter. Nope. They just want to construct a narrative with an agenda. I don't know what the agenda is. Um, it, you know, you can see maybe on the surface, maybe, but there's probably some deeper stuff going on that... Mm-hmm. I don't want to even be part of. I, I, I've, one of my mantra things is be the change you want to see. So, mm-hmm. so I just say screw them, and I just try to be as accepting and loving towards everybody in my world, regardless of their beliefs or whether or not they think their gender is male, female, or Pluto. I don't know. Other. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't really care. I'll talk to anybody. Mm-hmm. I don't care if you're tattooed up to, you know... From head to toe, yeah, you're a Wiccan, wizard, dancing stripper. Right. I will talk to you and hang out with you and have coffee with you and screw that. I don't, you know, got my own beliefs and I don't spew them on anybody. And I like to hear from other people. I think that's important. So, and it's part of my belief system. It's mm-hmm. like you just love other people. You stupid. Yeah. So I don't know. I like it to share makes- my opinions as a way to to like. You know, connect with other people if they understand my opinion maybe yeah. they'll be willing to share their own because I've talked to yeah. a lot of people who don't just they just don't want to share their opinion if they don't know you if they're unfamiliar with your person or your ideas yeah. and when you figure that's this, this is that state of fear that mm-hmm. we in our country are right now in this place of if I say something I will be condemned as you know what a liberal conservative, a.k.a. bigot or homophobic, whatever. Mm-hmm. Whatever they throw at you to shut you down. Um, it's, it's just the... It sucks. It really does because it really shuts down all communication. So we're all isolated with our iPhones mm-hmm. and our Facebook and can't really talk to the person next to us on the bus. Well, I've been trying lately to talk about political things on the uh, Engaged Gamers uh, Twitter feed. I want to talk about a lot of different things. I don't want that to be like a main focus. Just right now, that's what comes up on my quote unquote yeah. dash the most right now. Yeah. So. Uh, well, it's interesting stuff if you have some good opinions and good thoughts on it and have a nice, open, intelligent discussion about it. It's really cool because um, there's lots of really amazing things that we can chat about. But. Yeah. I've been attacking the Republicans' decision on what they're doing with the Supreme Court. It's probably not the best use of my time, but I want people to think about it. I want them to stop and say, you know, maybe he's right. We need to talk about this more. Why are the Republicans so uh, optimistic? They're oppositionists to everything. If it's not their idea, no. They don't make any new ideas. Right. <laughs> so there's no evolution of government. They, they just want everything all shut down. And it, like I said, I, I get really frustrated about it. I think it's wrong. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, and there's probably a lot of fear on both ends. And that's you know, fear of losing control, fear, mm-hmm. fear of losing influence. Therefore, you get scared and then you just shut people down. And, and that's the interesting thing about the situation with me talking to people on Twitter. I don't mm-hmm. have to worry about loss of control. I will never be in a situation of power. It's right. kind of more like an activist citizen, I, I guess, a political activist mm-hmm. citizen. I, I care more about keeping this system going than I right. do about starting the next. And I'm sorry, yeah. but I really feel like our people are pushing for that next system, and I mm-hmm. think it's bullshit chicken shit. Mm-hmm. Wait, yeah. you don't like this one, so you, you're just going to start all over with death and blood? Nah, that's stupid. <laughs> a revolution. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's happened before. I mean, we have had the uh, Revolutionary War before and the Civil War and mm-hmm. those kinds of things. So, I mean, these these things are part of civilization. So it may happen at some point. 
an actual war. Maybe it'll be a cyber war. I don't know. See, the thing but, is, is I feel like we're bigger than that. Yeah. I wish we were. I don't know that we are, though. <laughs> I wish it was true. If there are people like us who are viewed all over the world and have friends in places that we never thought possible, why can't we all get together and work on these issues, whether in the political system or not? I.e., a lot of people do those benefits for children at their streams. That's a yeah. wonderful way to help the world while oh, yeah. everybody else is sitting there waiting for it to burn. And I'm like, you guys yeah. do realize we only get one shot at this. We fuck yep. up. There's no more humanity. <laughs> no more planets out there. Spare. We haven't terraformed anything because we've been sitting here arguing for so many years mm -hmm. that we haven't done it. <laughs> um, so, yeah, yeah. Speaking of arguing about stupid things, have you heard... I just can't fight this light spirit right now, by the way. Have you Holy heard... Holy crap! That's yeah. twice it's KO'd me. Damn. That uh, we have been able to build a human bone that's viable for transplant with 3D printing I, don't, I think the uh, last time you talked about it I think they were trying it so they've actually figured out uh, a non react like material to create this out of they're using 3d printing yeah but they're printing it with it's is it a cells? polymer or plastic it's actually cells I think they're using uh, cells from the hosts uh, I think there's more than one way to do that though I think they can strip cells of their material and grow new cells and then the 3d printer uses those cells now that's very good technology because that's one of the number one problems with transplant technology is the reduction by the body of the host um, to the new implant <laughs> yeah. so i mean there should be absolutely no rejection of that particular new part and then you don't have to take the medications to stop the reaction Yep, and basically it's, nice. it's like you're starting all over with a brand new part. It's fascinating to me, really. Sweet! That is, that's more than fascinating. That's, that's groundbreaking. That could, that can change the entire transplant um, Can you community. imagine 80-year-old people looking like they're young again because they've had all their old cells replaced? They had the money to do something like that? I can. I can imagine a, a very rich, upper-class intelligentsia doing that and ruling over us all <laughs> as the Eternals. <laughs> uh, but... <laughs> <laughs> That's just me being devil's advocate, though. Oh, no, I, it's legitimate, though. Because like, yeah. you, you saying... know darn well that the Joe Schmo, me, you, never going to be able to have access to that health care. That's not true. You if don't we think make so? it in our own garage... It'll be like That's Star true. Wars. It's That's... gonna be disturbing, and there's gonna be mistakes made. But we're not just gonna let the rich people have the way their way with the world. It it's going to turn into a class war if it doesn't turn into a yeah. a civil war. Yeah. <laughs> Well, and that's definitely happened before the the class wars. I mean, look at the you know French Revolution. You know, the, the whole musical is about that French Revolution where the mm -hmm. lower class rose up against the upper class who had health care, the riches, the resources, and screwed over everybody else. So that definitely could happen, and I don't think America's beyond that um, because we're humans, and humans are base level still animals. They have needs, and when those needs are taken away, they fight for them for survival. It's a very visceral survival instinct kind of thing, mm -hmm. um, and I don't think we're I mean, we pretend that we're really civilized and stuff, but, you know, it, it left on a desert island, you revert pretty quickly back to, I need food, water, and a place to poop. Um, mm -hmm. Because that's all that's really important at that time. Yeah. So. Oh, definitely. And I think it's funny because a lot of people, and, and I think I've talked to this to you, uh, I talked about this with you before, mm -hmm. but uh, I can pick things up with my feet. That's very ape-like. Yeah. It's very reminiscent of our ancestors. Why well, mm -hmm. bend all the way over when you have a perfectly applicable uh, appendage Itch. to yeah, do appendage. the job? It's a smelly oh. appendage. Eh, well. Although you cleaned it recently. But yes, I agree. You're right. Could be good. And as long as there's not a lot of toe jam, unless you really like that. Oh, um, I wouldn't that thing eat up. anything after picking it up off the floor. Most of the things I pick up, I throw in the trash. Mm-hmm. Me too. 
it's probably l less of like work, but it's more skill driven. Like it's harder to do that than it is to to lean over and pick it up, which yeah. is yeah, it's good for the brain. It creates a muscle memory, and people are like, no, that's primitive, and I'm like, you're primitive. <laughs> You're primitive, man. <laughs> suck it. <laughs> Always got to follow it up with a suck it. Yeah. There you go. Unless you're talking to, like, some people, they might get offended and sue you and put you in jail. But be, so be careful with the suck it. You know, it might be harassment depending <laughs> on the gender of yes. your person you're talking to. So uh, I did have uh, a couple other topics I, I had wanted to discuss. Bring them on. Bring them on, man. Russia has decided that they want to mod their uh, Cold War missiles to hit asteroids. That's a good idea. Yeah, I was impressed. I was like, that's some next level thinking. Hopefully they don't try to preemptively do that. There could be a lot of problems if they do it wrong. <laughs> but at least yeah. they're trying to do something that nobody else has an answer for. Which I'm like, it's Russia. I'm not really happy with the way Russia works. But I'll be damned if no one's going to protect us from that asteroid when it gets here. <laughs> oh, that's true. I'd, and I'd rather the Russians do it than anybody else, because we might sit here and argue about how to do it best. <laughs> Russia will just say, hey, the asteroid is coming here. We I must break you. And it'll just fire everything at it that it can and beat the holy hell out of it. So, got to love those Russians. So, at least I do. I have part Russia in me, so... <laughs> Uh, and the other subject, the last subject that I had, was the game we were talking about. Oh, yes. Tell me about the game. Final Fantasy Record Keepers. I've seen a little bit about that, but I didn't play the video. What the hell is it about? Is that the, that's the one that, the app, right? Yeah. And, yes. um, you can play as all the Final Fantasy characters. You get people like Kefka and X-Death, which are final bosses in 5 and 6. Yes, they So are. you could basically have any character from any of the games. You, you can also use like straight up black mage, straight up white mage. There's also ranger. There's so many classes. The mm -hmm. battle system is a little more condensed. Of course, there's a pay to win system. I haven't used it. I've been playing right. for 4 or 5 days now, and I've just gotten to the point where I'm in control of things. I, I made some really stupid mistakes, but... Uh, <laughs> That's okay. It's a learning experience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is. I love the battle system, though. Like, oh. So Final Fantasy Record Keeper. I'll have to look at that, because it sounds like it might be kind of fun to play. And, and you get a certain number of stamina, which you increase by going to quote-unquote core dungeons. And mm -hmm. that's how you complete actions, is your stamina. So I was talking about before, you can't just play it for 50 hours straight. Right. I think I, I play for like 15 minutes straight for every like two hours, maybe three. So, uh -huh. And most of that time is actually spent battling. Huh. So it's like perfect. It's like I get it's a nice grindy, dungeony kind of experience. Mm -hmm. I, I get like to kill that. things really fast. And then uh, sometimes I will uh, do the higher level dungeons and get a lot of good stuff out of it. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, what a good dungeon run. <laughs> And then other times it's just like I have a little bit of stamina and I'm like, well, a few items wouldn't hurt. Let's just go to this low level dungeon. We'll auto kill everything on the highest speed and I won't even pay attention. It'll be perfect. That's a perfect kind of RPG. Just something to pass the time. Not too deep. Not too shallow. Mm -hmm. Get some loot. Have some fun. Um, uh, yeah, there some are of those... some very complex parts to the system. I don't hate yeah. them. I just think they're weird. <laughs> uh, are they like money making kind of ideas or um, just... all your gear can level up uh, you oh. equip magic uh, and and uh, attacks oh so it's kind of like Final Fantasy 9 I think had the magic and, and skills kind of bound mm -hmm. to the mm -hmm. weapons and things they're not bound to the weapons uh, they're like separate Oh, so, like, like they're material? Their own, yeah, they're, they're, they're their own thing. You also yeah. have this friend system, so you can choose from high-level players who are really good, and they have these limit breaks that you can just use twice per dungeon, and uh -huh. you can spam them at bosses if you're not, like, strong enough to fight the boss, but right. you can tank them. So you can just roll over a boss because 
well, you know, <laughs> friend system. It's yeah. amazing, some of the things. Hmm. Sounds like an interest. I'll have to look at a... Because I've seen a video or two from somebody I'm subscribed to. Oh, Dave? This thing. I didn't yeah, I think it was. That's where I found it from. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, we have similar friends then. Yeah. Okay. I will have to check it out because I thought it was just like pictures or something. Mm -hmm. Well, it's hard to tell what's going on when you're watching a video because you yeah. can't actually see the inputs. It's kind of like Sanctuary RPG that I'm playing where you, yep. you just can't see the inputs because sometimes I put them in so fast or you're not paying attention to that part of the screen. So right. it can cause problems. Right. Sorry, my phone's ringing. It's all right. But that's okay. I'm not going to answer it. I'm done. I'm, this is my day off. Damn it. <laughs> but, uh, damn. It's fun. I, and I, I saw you playing Sanctuary RPG last night while I was I playing Kerb. I had to take off my sweater. Um, oh. How did that happen? Did it. <sighs> Doing What's it that? live. Having problems. <laughs> Steve is stuck Sorry, in the sweater. Who oh, no. ah, There we go. I got my headphones stuck in my long sleeve. Oh, wow. And there we go. You were saying? Oh, I, I was. I was saying. Uh, I was seeing you playing Sanctuary RPG last night while I was. I'm um, gliding my shuttle back, ending. <laughs> so. I was actually on stream uh, last night. So, you were? Yeah, I played Terraria last night. I streamed. I beat a game on camera, and I rendered all of it. So. I just oh, need to dang. do a thumbnail. I've got the titles already. I could upload the whole thing in one sitting because it's only six episodes. Nice. Yeah, it was like the perfect night. And now we get to continue with all this. The commentary in this episode is like top notch right now, and I'm really happy about that. <laughs> it's A Pross, man. <laughs> S rank commentary. Yes. Yes. I know. It's awesome. Oh, jeez. But yeah, that's, I'll have to check that out. I did not know you were streaming last night. I didn't see you on the... Because usually I check my, you know, my, on my iPad, people I'm following. When did you guys start? Um, you know, I'm not quite sure. Sorry, uh, Sam's mom's talking to her, and the dogs are down here freaking out, so I'm really distracted. <laughs> it just sounded like she was pissed off or something, throwing things around. Like, oh, God. No. <laughs> um... You were saying so. I, now I lost train of thought completely. I started streaming and I picked it back up. I got it all on my own. Ah, uh, um, cool. I started streaming at midnight and I streamed to one thirty. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, that Spunky. makes sense. Sorry, Monkey is <laughs> trying to murder Sam, and I just no, no, the dog. Be nice, doggy. Shush, doggy. Shush. Uh, she's the special one. She she really loves people. Like uh, this is so she be does a funny jump story. Um, mm -hmm. But this is the way I'm gonna explain this dog. A couple of days ago, I was taking a poop, and she sat down next to me, looking out the door like nobody come in here. He's taking a poop, <laughs> and she's not my dog. So, right. she, but she feels a sense of loyalty to everyone, and it's really interesting how that shows itself like yeah why did i need to be guarded while i was pooping it's a sacred act man that's why <laughs> and the dog knew that pooping is sacred uh, i really you? like that dog um she wants to talk like she can mimic um intonation not oh. so much words but right. you can kind of hear like i brought you and it's like, I kind love. of like Scooby Doo, but not quite that far. Like it's it's, mm. it's almost talking. She's she has an idea of what human speech is like, right? And what um, it does. She's very aware of like when we receive certain texts from certain people that that means certain things are going to happen, or like <laughs> when everybody's getting ready. Yeah. She'll freak out. Sorry, game talk. <laughs> And 
the subjective masses. He came to reject a world in which a person's place was determined by his birth. And he lost patience with me when I attempted to moderate his feelings. In the end, he brought me upon charges before the court of the Vatican. But it was he who the church condemned. Of course. In an age of absolutism, anyone who called for the granting of rights to individual citizens could do nothing but anger the powers that be, whether in the church or the state. Any such person was destined to be condemned as a heretic and locked away forever or tortured to death. <laughs> yeah, that's the Inquisition, lady. Yeah. Japanese <laughs> translation's gone wrong. Yeah. How relevant to our discussion today. I know. <laughs> 